Okay, hi all. So in the last minute, in the last video rather, uh, we showed how to use this style of template in order to factorize difference of two cube style expressions. Okay, so just in this video, I want to look at a slightly, a uh, little bit more difficult one. There's just one extra step to it, uh, and that's when we have something that looks like this. Now we've seen stuff like this before when it comes to the difference of two squares and so it's a similar um, strategy or tactic that we'll use to factorize something like this. So the issue is that it looks like a difference of two cubes just like this one but it's not in the um, exact right format that we want it at the moment uh, so that we can use our template up here to factorize it and the thing is the reason it's not in the right format is because the a here is being cubed, but the 27 is not. This literally means 27 multiplied by a cubed. And in order to use the difference of two cubed, like up here, then everything here in the first position must be being cubed, and everything over here in the second position must be being cubed. So we must just uh, change this into something that's being completely cubed, and this similarly into something that's being cubed. So, just like in difference two squares, we look at the number part of it and we say, can 27 be written as something to be cubed? And we know from our previous example up here that 3 cubed is 27. So, instead of writing it as 27a cubed, we can write it as 3a all to be cubed. And so that just means 3a by 3a by 3a. And that would mean 3 by 3 by 3 will give us the 27. And the a by a by a part will give us the a cubed. So this has the exact same value as this. They're equivalent, but they just look a bit different. That's all. So the minus, just like we have here. And then this, similarly, we look for the cube root of 8. And the number which you multiply by itself and again by itself to give you 8 is 2. 2 by 2 is 4, and multiply by 2 again, 2 fours are 8. So it's 2b all to be cubed. And again, if we think about it, if we cube this, which means multiply 2b by 2b by 2b, we get 2b by 2b is 4b squared, and multiplied by 2b again is 8b cubed, which is exactly what we have here. So they're equivalent, even though they look different. Now we have something here that we can use our template up here on. It's something all to be cubed, minus in the middle, which is important, something all to be cubed. So using our template, I'm just going to write it down here again. 3a all to be cubed minus 2b all to be cubed equal to, and I'm going to know that there's going to be a uh, one factor that has uh, two terms in it and another factor which has three terms in it. Okay. And we know from above that the first factor here with the two terms has the first item with no squares or cubes or anything minus the second uh, part with no squares or cubes or anything in it. So the first part here is 3a minus the second part with no cubes or squares or anything is just 2b. In here then, well we know again it's going to be a plus and a plus for a start, so I might put those in there. Plus plus and then we just need the three parts then that go in here so according to up here the first part is going to be whatever the first part of this is but to be squared instead of cubed so over here the first part is 3a and it's all of that to be squared and be careful to include the brackets we will need to do a little bit of tidying up of this afterwards or simplifying and getting rid of brackets and whatnot so the middle part then is the first part multiplied by the second part with no squares or powers or anything. So again, the first part here is 3a, second part is 2b. Multiply 3a by 2b gives you, well, let's tidy it up afterwards. Let's just write it as 3a times 2b for now. And then the second or the last part, rather, the third part of this factor is uh, second part of the original to be squared instead of being cubed. So again, second part of the original 2b to be squared instead of cubed and again we'll use the brackets just for now until we tidy it up so tidying it all up that's 3a minus 2b that'll stay the same there's nothing we can do to simplify that or tidy that up 3a all to be squared means 3a by 3a which is 9a squared 
3a by 2b, well 3 by 2 is 6ab, so plus 6ab. And then 2b by 2b, which is 2b squared, well 2b by 2b is 4b squared, so plus 4b squared. And that's it, that's what you have, the, the two factors of this. It's These are the two factors of this, but we know that that's equivalent to that, so these are the two factors of our original expression that we were asked to factorize.